And Subnautica Below Zero has launched, it's gone gold, it's out officially, finally! And of course this means that we have to start looking at mods. And how do you install mods in Subnautica Below Zero? Well, it's actually normally quite easy. The easiest way I found is always go to nexusmods.com slash Subnautica Below Zero and check the different mods. And I'm going to show you how to install the QMod Manager version number 4, which is the latest one, which is something that is being used ever since back Subnautica, the original game came out because it really helped to make mods easier to create and easier to install. I'll make sure to leave a link in the description to this QMod manager. Interestingly, fittingly, it's actually mod number one, which was kind of interesting. So we're at the page here and it mentions that it's the official update for version four to install. You can simply run the executable. So what you do is you download the file, run it, and you have to make sure your below zero install directory is correct. And again, this is for Steam. And you click install. If you want to uninstall it, well, just do it through the Windows Add and Remove Programs dialog. Find the Cubemon Manager, uninstall. Now, the normal way to install mods through Cubemon Manager is simply to download the mod, which has a folder that you need to unzip into the QMods folder, which is in the below zero install directory, which I'll show in just a moment. And then you just run the game from the launcher as usual. As an added bonus, if you want to create a mod for Qt Mod, Ma mod Manager, there's a couple of links here as well that you can go and have a look. Well, he'll be explained in details. I won't go into that one because I'm focused more on you as a user, not you as a creator. If you do have some issues, they do have a Discord server. So go join that one and ask them questions and give some feedback. So we're going to do a manual download by clicking this link here and it says downloads are for non-premium so blah 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 which is fine i don't care about that i'm not a premium member i'm just a free member so we're going to do manual download here of the exe of course it will tell me that yeah you get a slow download but it's a free account i do have logged in because i have my own mods here as well you can do premium you don't have to do that you can just have a free account you click it you'll get the exe and you download it now, once you run it, Windows might be complaining about it because it doesn't know what this is. This is a custom EXE. So you have to trust them. Otherwise, you can install this SIP manual as well. I'm going to run it. I haven't had any issues before. But again, be advised. Uh, run anyway. And now we're in the setup wizard. So I'm going to do next. And this is where normally things are installed. This is where my game is installed as well. You can browse to make sure you locate it if you put it somewhere else. Let's say you put it on a different hard drive, for instance. I'm going to do next. And I'm going to install for below zero, which is correct. And it just says to clean up after blah, blah, blah. Other installs if you have an older versions and install. And that's it. It has been installed. So w w where do we find things? And this is where Steam makes it actually quite easy. You go to your Steam, right click, properties, then you go to local files, browse, it'll pop up a folder where you see QMods. So this is the folder where you want to extract your different mods and put them inside. Which is exactly what they mentioned here, how to install mods for QMod Manager. A bunch of the mods actually use QMod Manager, not all of them, but I will be go through some cool ones as well in the next days and weeks to help make your experience in Subnautica Below Zero even better. Keep in mind, again, this is for Steam. Whether this works on Epic or other launches, I don't know. But you can always go to the Discord server and ask them. And if you just check the mods for Subnautica Below Zero, you'll see there's actually a ton of mods already. They will be crafting a bunch of them more. There's still some basic ones, of course, not as many as the original Subnautica when it had been out for quite a while. But I'm sure there's going to be a bunch more mods coming in here that's going to change the experience, improve the experience. And personally, I love the quality of life mods that they had in Subnautica. Auto Salt Lockers was really one of my favorite ones. I hope they put that one back. But we'll go into that in future mod videos for Subnautica Below Zero. Thank you for watching. Make sure you hit that like button and maybe subscribe to my channel as well. I'll see you again. Special thanks to the great patrons supporting the channel. If you would like to join the Vedic community and support these videos, do follow the Patreon link.